excited about today's video. It's all about our newest addition to the playroom, which is right here behind me. This is our calm down space. So it's right in the playroom, as I said, so it doesn't take up a lot of room. And I'm just super excited to show you guys. I love the way it turned out. As always, everything will be linked down below in the description. So make sure you guys check that out. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So before I take you guys through our calm down space, I'm gonna kind of explain where I have it in the playroom and what its purpose is. So it's just in a little corner in our playroom. Like I said, this is the Ikea Trofast table. And then we have like the little Love Every setup. This is our homeschool cabinet. And then over here is our main playroom area where the girls play. And I do toy rotations. So again, it's just right here, a little corner in our playroom. So it doesn't take up a lot of space at all. But this space is mainly a safe space where my children can all come and just have alone time, time to take a deep breath and really feel those emotions, let them out because that's my goal. I want my children to be able to express their emotions and be able to feel everything they are feeling. If they are angry and they need a space to kind of like thrash around, this is that space. So everything right here is intended just to be safe calming, relaxing. So the way I introduce this to my kids is I kind of explain to them that if you come in this space and if you see like your sister in this space, then that means she needs alone time and we have to give her time to herself. So for example, if Aurora is in this space, I explain to my older daughter, Layla, that Aurora needs time alone. So let's not, you know, talk to her. Let's not go up to her. It's just her space when she's in here. I explained to them that there are coping mechanisms in here, like books to read. Obviously, Aurora doesn't read yet, so I told her if she would like a book when she is in this space, I can join her if she would like, and I can read it to her and help her work through those emotions. So my other daughter, Jade, who is my one-year-old, she'll be two in October. She just recently started those tantrums. Lots of big feelings, so she doesn't fully understand the purpose of this space and the purpose of all of these things in this caddy. So whenever she is feeling all of those big feelings, I usually will go grab her, bring her in this space, and I'll sit in this space with her, read a book, or I'll show her like the little things that are in this caddy. So that's kind of like a little breakdown of our calm down space. If you guys have any other questions about how my kids use this, all of that stuff. Any other questions, you can leave it down below in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. But let's go ahead and jump right into it because I am just like dying to show you guys everything. So here is our little caddy. This is from the brand Gather. I do have a coupon code with Gather if you guys wanna check that out. I'll leave it down below in the description. And this cushion right here is also from Gather. I got the camel color so it's this really pretty brown it has a handle which i really love so that way my kids can move it around if they would like we have this emotions poster on the wall so my kids can visually see all of the emotions and kind of pinpoint which one they're feeling if they want to point it out to me and we can talk about it so there's happy sad calm surprised angry excited scared tired confused sick worried shy bored silly confident and proud so that's kind of our little setup so now let's jump into what's actually in this caddy so first i'll take you guys through the books so this first book is all about feelings so here's what this one looks like this one is more for my eight-year-old daughter layla because she does know how to read on her own so it just has a bunch of feelings in here and it just kind of breaks it down so for example this page says so how are you feeling it can be hard to answer this question and to give your feeling a name but saying what it feels like can help you would even give your feeling a color and then for example this one is angry so it says i'm feeling angry my color is red and then it kind of just like breaks down what that can feel like for you so it's just all about feelings. This next book is more geared towards my four-year-old daughter. So this is the color monster. And this one is really cool because this is a pop-up book of feelings. So this one is really cool. This one caught my attention right away. I got this off of Amazon. So again, it just talks about 
all of the feelings but it's really cool because all of the pages just pop up so that one is super fun the next book is the big feelings book for children this one is mindfulness moments to manage anger excitement anxiety and sadness this book will show kids how to use mindfulness to better deal with their feelings They'll find lots of kid-friendly exercises that can help them work through tough emotions and feel happier. So this one has a lot of little exercises that children can do to kind of regulate their feelings. So for example, this one is volcano breathing, the train of thoughts, magic words, tingling hands. Next book is Breathe Like a Bear. This one has 30 mindful moments for kids to feel calm and focused anytime, anywhere. So this one is more geared towards toddlers. And then this last one is Feelings in Control. So this one is a flip book, so it can either be flat like this, or you can make it like this, so your child can set it up on the floor or on the table and flip through it. So this one has pictures of kids and how they're feeling. So this one was really important for me to have in here because it's really important for your children to see kids that look like them so i wanted something a little bit more realistic and this was the best one that i could find this one had really good reviews and i love how this one has the back page so in the front it shows the emotion so for example this one is bored and then in the back it says when i feel bored i can do a kindness for someone call a friend or grandparent play an outdoor game look for a game in the playroom look through the arts and crafts, be flexible. So it has little ideas when your child is feeling that emotion. So this one is loved. It says, when I feel loved, I can tell someone I love you, give someone a hug, do a kindness for someone, spend time playing a game with someone. So those are all of the books that I have in here. Next is a stuffy, and my kids are obsessed with this one. So his name on the website was Eddie but we also call him corduroy too does anybody remember that book corduroy of the little bear and he had green overalls that book was my childhood i absolutely love that book so i call this little guy corduroy because he also has corduroy overalls on so he's just a small little cream bear brown corduroy overalls so what i love about this little guy is he is actually weighted and weighted stuffed animals weighted blankets is known to help with like anxiety and just to help you calm down so i love that this little guy is weighted another really cool feature is he actually opens up in the back and there is a microwavable heating pad in here that is lavender scented lavender is also proven to help relax you so i absolutely love this i kind of want one for myself to keep in my room because he is just the cutest thing and I love that you can heat it up. It's so cute. So next is a kaleidoscope. Who had one of these growing up? Because I definitely did. I think they are so cool. Mine had beads though. So this one is rainbow colored. And the way this one works, instead of having the beads in here where you have to like turn this and then you know the colors change because the beads are in it. This one you kind of point anywhere you want and you'll see what you're looking at in here just like with the fun shapes and stuff hopefully that made sense i don't know if i can show you if i put it close up to the camera next is a yellow slug so this is just a fidget toy so your child can just sit here and fidget with it but it has a really satisfying sound this one also came in a bunch of other colors too i think there was like rainbow green orange there was a purple one i have some poppets in here so i have this giant poppet and then my kids threw in their other little poppets in here so there's just a purple one and then this blue and white one i have this little glitter timer so on the top it has a happy cloud and then on the bottom it has a sad cloud and when you flip it over it has a rainbow glitter that falls down and it falls down really slowly too which i love because your child can sit here and watch the little glitter settle as they settle so i love this 
I also have some other glitter things in here. So these are like little glitter wands. I think these are super satisfying. So when you tilt them, the glitter just falls. These came in a pack. So it was a pack of four. And then it has like stars, and just really pretty like glitter in here, like little bubbles. So again, your child can watch these settle as they settle. Next is another little fidget toy. So this is a fidget cube. So it just turns kind of like all over. Next are some monkey noodles. My kids are obsessed with these things. I don't know why, but they find them so satisfying. So they're literally just like stretchy noodles. If you're looking for like stretchy fidgets like this, definitely just save yourself the time and buy the monkey noodles because I've bought a bunch of other like off-brand ones and these are by far the best quality ones. You can really like stretch them and not worry about these ripping or anything. Next is a little marble maze blanket. So it's just a little handheld blanket and then it has a maze on the front and a maze in the back. And there is actually a marble in here. So your child just kind of pushes the marble with their fingers through the maze to get it all the way through. That is everything that is in our Calm Down Caddy. Also, another thing I want to say is I do not keep this on the floor because like I said, I do have a one-year-old. So if I kept this on the floor, she would constantly go in this all the time. And the goal that I want for this calm down space is I want it to specifically be used for a safe calming space. So these toys, like fidgets, all of this stuff in here is not made for like everyday play, take it to like the play shelf, play with it over there. This is mainly supposed to be kept in our calm down space. That's kind of how I want this space to work. It's kind of all trial and error right now. So to keep this in reach within the calm down space and you know out of her reach though, I keep it on top of the homeschool cabinet which I showed you guys which is literally right here. But yeah you guys, that is everything in our calm down space. Don't forget to check out the links down below in the description. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family. Don't forget to check out my gather discount down below. I cannot tell you how many products I have of theirs. I have so many. That is where our playmat is in our playroom too. That is also from Gather. But make sure you guys check out all of that. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.